everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we're looking at, you already know what you're looking at. So let's just, let me just say this. Why do some cars just look so much better than others, right? I hear it all the time, like, hey, that's a great looking car, but a lot of times people don't know why it's a great looking car. Why is it a great looking car? Well, let's look at this one for instance. Let's see why this one looks different, for instance, right? The color of this car, this is not your typical, most people think Guardsman blue is that darker blue. That's actually this color right here. The darker blue is royal blue, right? Throw in the white stripes here that are clear coated over so you can't feel them anymore, which is really nice. That's that extra step that people take, right? The stainless rivets around the hood scoop, right? The polished rims. I like the polished look. You know, you see the black centers or the charcoal centers, the 15 inch rims. And here we get a set of 17s all the way around and they're polished, they add a really big piece to it. Why? Because polished uh, ray dot mirrors, right? The side exhaust silver coated, this is polished. It's just nice. All of those little things make for a great car. Let's take a minute and look at the quality of the paint so you can see what it would look like on your next car show you go to. All right, so I like to talk about paint. And why do I talk about paint? Because, you know, you and I can actually paint. I know it sounds crazy. I've never really painted a car, but I believe that we could. Where it's really tied up is in the prep of the underneath. And here's how you know that I'm telling the truth. Imagine uh, it's your bathroom, you had a picture up there, you didn't like it, you put some mud in that hole, and then you painted over it and you could still see that. Well, that's poor prep. That means you rushed it and uh, that's what you end up with. And that's exactly what happens here too. In this case here, this body was prepped really, really nice. It's super smooth. The paint is laid on beautifully. Not only is it a great color that's uh, clear coated, uh, as well. However, the stripes are clear coated too. Why is that important? Because over time you're going to wash and wax this car and what happens is the edges of these stripes will tear if they're above uh, the clear coat below it. So this is an extra step where the whole car is clear coated after the stripes are laid on there. Little things that you're looking for that make some cars different than others. Lastly, let's check and see the quality of the paint so you can see uh, here and make sure that you can read every letter in there nice and crisp and clear. All right, so you're going to go uh, somewhere and someone is going to ask you what do you have under the hood and you're going to say well how about you ease yourself on over here for a second and let me show you the little something something that I have okay this right here is 347 cubic inches of V8 you say well Tom that doesn't sound like a lot of cubic inches shouldn't it be 427 or 460 cubic inches agreed that those are bigger cubic inches however the 347 stroker is designed to rev and it's designed to make horsepower Cars that have higher RPMs make more horsepower. Cars with lower RPMs and bigger cubic inches make more torque. In this case here, uh, this is a nice little touch in the sense that we have uh, uh, fuel injection here and a minimum amount of accessories, right? So we're not using a lot of the power up. It has aluminum heads on it. This is a real deal, 400 plus horsepower and 2,500 pounds. I can guarantee you, you don't need any more power in this car with a five speed. On the highway from a 60 mile an hour roll, to 65 miles an hour, because that's all I would ever do, of course, uh, this car will roll down the road. Anyway, the sound it makes right up the side pipes, this is all you ever need, all you ever need for power, and I think that you're gonna be quite impressed. All right, so I like to talk about the back of this car. This car here is, uh, so you have two different 427 style bodies. One is the SC, Super Competition, that's the race version. Then you have a street version. Big differences right away, so you'll know, because a lot of people don't know, is that these are quick jacks. And how does a quick jack work versus a bumper on a car, right? If this was a street car, it would have the bumpers on there. The quick jacks work. And what that did at the track, uh, it'd be a long bar uh, with two wheels on the end, and it would be a handle here. He would walk up here when the car came into pits, push this down, right? It would jack the whole car up. They'd switch the tires real quick and boom, be right back in the game quickly, all right? Inside here, I wanna spend a second just to show you detail stuff. To me, when I see things like this, it says to me that uh, some cars are a little nicer than others. For instance, like here is a fender cover uh, to work on the car, which I love automatically. But all of this is polished aluminum in here. Here's the tonneau cover that goes uh, around there in case, uh, you know, you get caught in the rain or you want to leave the car for a little while and you don't want the interior to fill up with dirt. But all of this aluminum is polished in here. It's all polished, right? A lot of cars have just carpeting or just bare fiberglass and things like that. And I just think that uh, when you do little things like this, it says I'm getting a little better car than others. And I love the little Cobra sticker there. That's nice. Okay. Just all right. So one of the things that people always say is the room inside these cars. And I say yes, because I'm 6'1". And I still have uh, plenty of room in here. 
But what I love about this car is I feel like somebody put a seat in a car, a steering wheel and a shifter in somebody's hand, and then they built a car around it because like it fits perfectly in here. A lot of people always ask, well, why is the shifter bent that way? What's wrong with it? Well, the reason why it's that way, this is more like a mid-engine car. The engine and transmission are slid back so that the, the weight is centralized. And so that's why it handles so well. However, the transmission's here. So if the shifter was in the normal place and you had to go to fourth or fifth here, you would end up hitting the wall. So that's why uh, it's here. So that when you shift, right, you don't have to come all the way back. That's one of those things there. This fire extinguisher doesn't have to be there. It was just part of the build of this car. Um, and you can get rid of that. We could put uh, something there. Some people actually put a stereo system in the glove box. You can stream music to it. The side pipes make a great sound. And otherwise, we can put some speakers under the dash. You can always add that. Here's a nice telltale sign here when you have a 180 mile an hour speedometer and an 8,000 RPM tack. How are you doing, right? You know that's rolling. That's a roller. I love the stripes that come on inside. This is my favorite part. I love that mirror there. It reminds me of the early 60s C1 Corvettes where they had that, that mirror right there. Just such a cool touch. I wish cars could do that still because it's really, really nice. All right, so we close up this video. We said something at the beginning that I hope that maybe you saw as we went along is why do some cars look better than others, right? We look at the quick jacks. We looked at these rivets here around the hood, these polished pieces as well, right? The big rims, the wheels and tires. Look how well they fit those big uh, fender flares in there. This ceramic coating here so it doesn't rust, right? Normally you'd have to paint it and it would rust over and over. This right now is uh, ceramic coated so it looks great. Anyway, this is an amazing car. It's amongst a lot of other supermodels in here and out on the road it is even more spectacular. The sounds of the engine rising and falling as you're working the shifter and you're rolling down the road. People love these things. Love them. I think you will too. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000 tell you all about this super cool Cobra. And uh, if you would, don't forget to uh, like this video right there and subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you would, also share it with uh, your friends too.